Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Fish Door County TV. This week, as you can see, we're chasing some big smallmouth bass and we're doing it up here on beautiful Washington Island. And if you've never been up here to experience the fishing up here on the island, you're really missing it. Stay tuned, we're gonna show you exactly how to catch these big Washington Island smallmouths. We'll be back in just a minute. Guys, we're here with John Soul today, and he's a captain in training on the Washington Island Ferry. And as you can tell, we got a beautiful day. We're heading across. We're going to do some salmon fishing. We're going to do some bass fishing. We're going to enjoy everything that the island has to offer. And John, you've been doing this for a while now, and I think one thing that people ask us a lot about the ferry and the whole ride over to the island is, is, is it a big process? Is it difficult? I think some people might be a little intimidated by the whole concept of, of putting a truck or a boat, especially like we have on today, onto the onto the ferry to go across, but it's actually pretty simple, isn't it? It's a simple operation. People get kind of nervous sometimes because they're driving onto a boat and they kind of lose a little bit of their senses, but we've got a capable crew that just take you through the process of parking. Sometimes we got to put you in a corner and require some parallel parking, but the crew is right there. It's it's a piece of cake. Well, that's what I noticed too when we were putting on. I mean, guys were directing everybody. There was no issues at all. Everyone seems to be having a good time, and, and you know probably as well as anybody, the island has so many things to offer, and that's what makes this the opportunity to go across on the ferry. It opens it up to everybody. Absolutely. There's a lot to do out here. Not a, not another giant, but uh, definitely a nicer fish. You know, you got to take uh, some of these smaller ones. Not that this is a real small one, but you got to take some of these smaller ones with some of those nicer ones as well. Definitely fun to catch. There we go. Yeah, not a bad guy. I'll tell you what. The nice thing is, is that we got got a little bit of a wind gale going on, so uh, you know if we're going to try to fish some of this big water stuff, uh, I'm going to let this fish go. Um, if we're going to try to fish some of this big water stuff, it's going to be a little bit tougher today. You know, we got a, probably a 15, 20 mile an hour wind. We're tucked into some of these back bays up on the island, and you know you can always get out and fish up here, and that's one great thing when you do come here. And as we said before, if you're coming here 
and uh, you know, make sure you drag a boat with you or a camper. And um, you know, even if you're just dragging a camper, you know, there's plenty of uh, opportunities to go fishing here. You can rent boats. You can go on a charter. If you do bring your own boat, definitely some great smallmouth fishing, and as we've seen, some definitely some great salmon fishing. So next time you're thinking about coming to a place and you want to try something that's really unique, try Washington Island. Oh, there's one right behind the boat. And that's the one thing with these senkos. Sometimes you can get these fish just dragging behind the boat, you know, making a cast and then letting the wind kind of play you down. This guy's a little ornery because he's bit pretty close here. There we go. So just a little guy, but fun to catch. And you can see probably, get this guy back. Uh, we've kind of moved out of those little protected areas and into the wind here a little bit more. We were catching a lot of fish in there, but they were smaller, shallower um, inside. This way here is a little deeper, a deeper flat, seven to 10 feet. And we're actually catching quite a few fish out here now as well. So let me get back in the water, see if we can put a little bit bigger one in. Another one on here, and as you can kind of see, what we're fishing here is a lot of sand, and it's kind of broken up by this real black, dark rock. And this isn't a huge fish here, but a fun little guy. Oop, there he goes. Just a nice little average smallmouth, not a big fish, fun to catch. Caught a pile of these today. Now, get this guy back in the water. As you can kind of see out here, if you take a look, we got this sand and you'll see that dark rock mixed in along the edge and along a couple little spots out here by themselves. Those fish all day today have been relating to that dark water, you know, those boulders. They like the sand, they want some sand nearby, but you have to find areas that have that dark rock. And, and pretty much anywhere you go in Door County, even up here in Washington Island area like we are today, that dark rock and those dark areas inside the sand is what you really need to key on to find these big small mouths. We're gonna get back in, fish that edge again, see if we can put a bigger one in there. little spot that we found here. Yeah, not a big guy, but it's action. And you know, everybody likes to catch big smallmouths and you know, we're no different than everybody else. But you know, this is kind of what reality is. You know, you catch a lot of big ones, you catch a lot of small ones, and you catch a lot of medium ones in between. And it's just a great day. You know, there's not too many places you can go out, have a shot at catching one that's 20 inches, but in order to catch 20 inches, you gotta go through a lot of these smaller ones. But I'll tell you what, you know, it's not a bad little fish. We're gonna throw him back. We're gonna keep casting. We're just working a unique area, and you know, you find a lot of these spots up here. We're fishing a trench up here at the island up in Detroit Harbor, and uh, some great fishing. You know, we got a great day. We're fishing an area that's pretty much protected by wind, and we're catching some nice fish. So we're gonna get back fishing, see if we can catch some more. Well, we got another one on here, guys. And what's cool about this one, he actually came at the boat here pretty quick. What's cool about this one is this is a fish that I actually saw cruising up in there and actually cast it right up to. And one thing about the island, and a lot of places in Door County for that matter, a lot of these fish are so unpressured and they see so few fishermen and so few boats out here that you can actually get right up on these fish and cast to them. We drifted over a shallow area like we talked about, saw the fish sitting on the edge, and we actually pitched a sinkle right up in there and he took it. And it's actually pretty cool. When you see these fish beforehand, you cast up on them, you actually watch the bite and then get the whole experience like that, it's pretty cool stuff. So take advantage of that. When you get up in these areas like Washington Island or Northern Door County or some of these areas but don't see a lot of boating pressure, a lot of fishing pressure, Take advantage of it by getting up in this shallow water and trying to do some sight fishing. These fish are just roaming through here. They're done spawning. They're cruisers and they, they'll bite. So 
take advantage of it when you get up in this area. Well, we got one here. I'll tell you what, I switched up. I put a tube on, and uh, you know, like you said earlier, Mike, there's you can see his buddies swimming with him. And sometimes, you know, you throw a bait, you throw a bait a bunch of times at fish. You change it up a little bit, and you can go back and pick up those fish that you had a hard time getting. I'll tell you one thing. Wind's picking up a little bit. Action's getting a little bit better. Hey, get this one in the boat here. Well, it's wrestling me. There we go. That's not a bad one. I'll tell you what, bit that too really good. I'll get him unhooked there. I'll tell you what. Not a bad fish, probably two and a half pounds. I'll tell you what, you come up to this island here, you got a lot of great opportunities to catch fish like this. Great salmon fishing, great scenery, just a great place to come. Great camping area as well. Taking the ferry over, not a big deal, especially if you're bringing a boat or a trailer. I'll tell you what, next time you guys come up to Door County, come up to Washington Island, experience some of this great fishing. Well guys, we had a great weekend up here on Washington Island. Salmon fishing was outstanding, the bass fishing was fun as always. Now we're getting ready to head back to the mainland. We're gonna jump on the ferry here that's just coming in right now. And we just wanna let you guys know, if this is something that interests you, salmon fishing, bass fishing, getting away from the crowds a little bit, Washington Island is an outstanding destination and a great choice to visit when you're up here in the Door County area. Thanks again for watching our show guys, and join us again next week for another episode of Fish Door County TV.